Virgo, somebody is definitely wearing a mask, hidden motives, concealing things, disguising things, lying about certain things. Um, this person, somebody has a family or somebody has a connection, responsibilities, commitment, okay? And what they're doing, okay, is they're going out here and they're hooking up, linking up, okay? Fl um, one night stands and, you know... Um, casual relationships, having a fling, okay, for some of you, with somebody here, okay, and this person, they're doing a lot of text messages, they're doing a lot of talking on the phone, they're doing a lot of um, co communicating, okay, um, even telling each other's business to each other, they're also on the computer, they're direct messaging each other as well, okay, so listen, this is a situation to whereas somebody really um, is doing the most here, okay, Um I don't know where you are. This is raw energy, okay? I don't know if you're the person that somebody is wearing a mask to. Well, somebody wearing a mask, somebody. I don't know if you're the person that's wearing a mask or if you're the third party or if, you know, this is your person, okay? So you're just going to have to take what fits and you guys puzzle pieces. Remember that, all right? But somebody definitely does have some type of regret regarding this. I do want you to know that. Somebody feels some type of way about this um, fleeing casual relationship. Love you, <laughs> Love you too. This fleeing casual relationship or something, you know, they know they're wrong for this. Okay. Um, I want to say you guys that for some of you, the truth is going to be that this person is at a distance. Okay. I got too many of these cards here with this eight of cups and this, um, six of swords here. Um, I feel like this person is at a distance. They could have dang, they, they could have met online. Okay. They could have, um, you know, hooked up, was communicating and that's where all the text messages and all this stuff and then decided to go you know, actually go meet up. Okay. Um, somebody is saying they have some type of unfinished business regarding this friendship, marriage, perfect harmony, soulmate, sacred union, love proposals, balance, or compatibility. One word, all words, no words, wherever, which one this fits. Okay. Somebody is saying we still have things to discuss. Okay. This is not over. All right. That's what they're saying. This secret crush, like I said, okay, was an admirer. They were attracted to this person. They suited this, this what they were a suitor, okay? This person went and pursued this person, all right? And this was secret, okay? This is maliciously done. This was planned. This was purposely done. This was not a mistake or, or you know, anything like that, okay? Um, they traveled, okay? They withdrew from the situation. They abandoned somebody. That will be true for some of you guys. Somebody walked away, all right? Disappointment is definitely here. Escapism is definitely here. Somebody has reached their limit. They thought the grass was greener on the other side for some of you guys here, okay? Listen, somebody is in regret here for doing this, all right? Um, they're miserable. They know they made a mistake. I don't feel like that's a mistake. They made a wrong choice, okay? Guilty, you know, um... They want to give an apology, all right, you guys? Somebody is at a distance, like I said, third party, you or them, okay? Um, but wanting to move into calmer waters after this storm hit, okay, after this chaos and negativity and upheaval and, and these things were unearthed that happened, okay? Um, you know, stability, recovering, going into a new direction, some type of relief, relocation, overcoming obstacles, peace after the storm, y'all. Um, somebody, like I said, is at a distance. Somebody may not be from you know, where, where they're at right now. They may not be originally from where they're at right now. Travel may be what they do as well. Okay. Um, we got a situation for some of you guys. Somebody has cut somebody's ass off. Okay. Now I don't know if it feels to me like it's a possibility that somebody cut this third party situation off, um, that they were hooking up with, linking up with, you know, having sex and casual flings with, um, or you could have cut this person off or this person could have cut you off. Nonetheless, all this manipulation, okay, has caused somebody to become very detached. And it's also caused somebody to be very, very cold, okay? Um, there's a proposal here, you guys, um, if surrounding this here energy. And like I said, this, I don't have all, uh, this is just my raw energy, okay? So we will dig, all right? But there's a proposal surrounding this, okay? Now, somebody may, if you're not married to this person, this person may possibly try to, you know, come back and because they are in regret, um, try to propose, okay, or give some type of um, promise of some type of sort, some type of love offer, engagement, agreement, you know, something to that degree, because they see that they have made a serious misstep here, okay? Um, I feel like for some of you, it is the third party that they're releasing, okay? Because I see somebody surrendering and letting go of a situation here. They're releasing it. They're giving up 
on something that they once thought was a good opportunity, what they once thought was a bright opportunity, what they once thought was a good prospect. Person may be younger than your person or you may be younger, you know, however it fits. But I see somebody re re surrendering this. So, you know, I don't know who this is. Like I said, I don't know if this is you. I don't know if this is a third party. Puzzle pieces, you guys, okay? Um, but there is definitely separation uh, for some of you. Grief, heartbreak, betrayal, heartache, illusions, betrayal, upheaval, sadness, trauma, sorrow, depression. Somebody is going through heartbreak, okay, because of this, all right? Somebody is hurting, they're depressed. They feel betrayed. They're disappointed. Reconciliation is here again, you guys. New beginning. Okay. Somebody wants to come in with some type of offer. Okay. They know they done messed up. Okay. They want a reunion. Second chance. Getting back together. Saying I miss you. All right. This is what they want. They're seeing a new beginning. They have new ideas for this relationship. They're going to be assertive. Truth is here. Some of you guys may get the truth. Um, mental clarity is here. Success is here. Breakthrough, overcoming limitations, and victory is here. Okay? Don't know how well that's going to go. But, you know, and the reason why I say that is because somebody happens to know that somebody is a straight-up snake here. Okay? They know this. All right? So, it's almost like I can't unsee the fact that you're a snake. Okay? You're you a snake. And, you know, I have to. Mind over matter. I have to. Mind over heart. Okay? My strength, my self-awareness, my self-love, my convictions, okay? My standards, my boundaries, all that shit, okay? Somebody is like, you you don't match up with that. You don't align to that, it's, you know? Um, somebody is definitely brave in this energy. They're fearless in this energy, okay? They've already got through the hard part. The hard part was finding out the truth, okay? So they've already gotten past that. So now they, you know, I don't know, you know? I don't know if somebody is, you know, willing to do this. And the reason why is because I got the world here, y'all. So a cycle is definitely ending and one is beginning. And I got somebody single, okay, that is ready to mingle, okay? They ready to date is what I'm trying to say. Freedom is here, okay? So this is what we're dealing with. We got somebody who did a, da a damn sure misstep. Somebody who was connected. This could be a husband, wife, okay? A higher connection, baby mom, baby dad. Nonetheless, they messed up, okay? Somebody is finding out about this or somebody has found out about this. For a lot of you guys, this person will be at a distance. Somebody will be at a distance here, okay? There was love with this two of cups, okay? Somebody is saying there's unfinished business. We got somebody with regret. We got somebody who has already went through the heartbreak. And we got a snake on the scene. And uh, we got somebody that definitely does want to come back, all right? You'd be on the lookout for a proposal. If you're the one that cut this person off, if, you know, the king of swords is your energy and you're the one that cut this person off, get ready for them to come back, okay? Puzzle pieces, you guys. Virgos, my day ones. I love you guys. Much love, much respect, you guys. Thank you so much for still being here with me. Uh, my uh, VIP, shout out. Train the go, train the go too. TTG Royalty 3, you guys. Shout out. I love you guys so much. Um, you guys join Train the Go, okay? It's the easiest way to get in contact with me. And on top of that, there's so many perks, so many discounts going on for my wonderful, lovely Train the Go members, okay? Um, you guys, I have already prayed over these clarifiers in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I've asked for truth. Revelation, confirmation, guidance, consolation, peace, and protection as I give Jesus Christ all the praise, the honor, and the glory, okay? So this is what we're expecting in this read. But I'm going to tell you right now, I don't know, you know what I'm saying, how this is going to uh, pan out here, okay? Somebody, if they have not showed you that uh, they're in some type of regret, they will, okay? Because they love. This could be possibly have been a marriage with this Ten of Cups and this Two of Cups, Okay? Third party interference that I'm sure did come in between this. All right. Socialization, family, friends. Somebody came in between this union. OK. And somebody is saying, you know what? I, I, I deserve better. I don't want to deal with this. And the other person is saying, "Nah, we got unfinished business. And somebody is like, no, I'm defensive. I'm reluctant and I'm closed off and I need some time. Somebody is saying that. Eight of Cups, Holy Spirit, because somebody damn sure dipped. They, do up, they threw up the deuces. Peace. Look like you did, Virgo. I don't know. Unless you're dealing with another Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, or Aries, okay? Um, somebody might have went off um, back and forth. This, Like I said, this could be a marriage. Um, somebody has children here. But they were going back and forth, okay, to their secret crush and to this person, okay, who they have children with, okay? Or, um, you know, who they have some type of co connect, okay, higher connection, all right, marriage or whatever, all right? They were definitely going back and forth. This is disappointing. And not only is it disappointing, it's very much so betrayal on top of everything else. And I think that's the reason why somebody is really in 
understand this energy of cutthroatness and not and being very detached and cold. And not only that, using mind over matter and mind over heart. Because, like, you know, somebody is like, you know what, this shit right here, this, you know, uh, Right, you know, and you need to understand that they asses was doing this shit. They was driven to succeed to do this, okay? They they overcame obstacles in order to fuck with this person, all right? Yeah, this is crazy. Right, and it was toxic behavior, okay? Sex addictions, drug addictions, restrictions, bondage, manipulation, calculation, excess. Had everything to do with excess. You see what I'm saying? Excess Self gratification in excess. You see what I'm saying? Um, somebody here, that I'm sure. Um, you know, y'all. Somebody might be in trouble here. Somebody might be in trouble here, or somebody might have just got a jail here. Somebody might have just got let off the hook here, and then this came about. That could be it too. Like, maybe somebody just said, you know what, gave somebody benefit of doubt, and now this shit came up. That could be it. That could be the truth for some of y'all, okay? Okay, but this person is in regret. Yeah, because they fucked up a ten of pentacles. And now it's wounded, set back, guarded here, okay? Somebody might have problems with their family, immediate family as well. Somebody may have moved away from their immediate family, okay? Like, you know, mom, dad, brother, sister, cousin. Somebody may have moved there, you know, and maybe somebody is regretful that they moved away from their family or not as close to their family. OK, that's going to be the truth for some of you guys. OK, but getting back on this love situation, somebody damn sure is in regret um, and feel guilty. They know they made a mistake, wrong choice. They want to give an apology for going back and forth, for traveling back and forth, for relocating or going wherever they went. OK, um, entertaining this this option, because what it did was it messed up their home. It messed up what they had with somebody. Okay. Very much so comfortable. Okay. Ten of Pentacles is, you know, that's, that's pretty much, you know, where we all want to be. That's the goal. Okay. So they fucked that up. And, uh, yeah. So somebody is wounded, set back guard here. Somebody jail is here too. Okay. Um, somebody got some, you know, hospital is here as well. Um, tell me about the King of Swords, Holy Spirit. Yeah. See chaos and drama. All right. Listen, somebody is like, you know, I'm not with this competition, this opposition, you know, and all of this ego clashing and this fuckery, okay? I'm not, somebody's like, I'm not with this shit, okay? Somebody's going to be giving a proposal here. Like I said, family, friends is in somebody's business here as well. That's going to be true for some of you. And some of you guys have cut off family and friends or their family members and friends may have something to do with this, okay? Nonetheless, we got somebody showing up crazy, sexy, cool, Damn sure single and abundant now, okay? Showing up single and abundant. Somebody wants to propose to somebody who is very angry and very detached and cold. They want to give some type of offer. They want their marriage back. They want their family back. They want peace after the storm, y'all. That they want forgiveness, okay? I think they've surrendered this third party. They let it go in some type of way. This person was younger. Right, because I got seven of cups, and I'm going to leave it upside down. So listen, you know, I don't really think they're indulging in this anymore. They might be, okay? It's a possibility. But like I said, it doesn't really matter because I still have strength on the board in your energy, Okay. Or cross watcher, cross watcher energy can and will get involved in this cross watcher. I want you guys to know that I love cross watcher just like I love Virgo. If this is the Virgo that's done this to you, please go in the comment section below. Let me know, okay? Because I am very interested to know how energy interchanges in between my reads. You guys, I do research on that. All right. Um, so you guys would be helping me out a lot, and I appreciate you. I love you, cross watcher. Like, share, and subscribe. Listen, somebody is like, I'm not with this juggling shit. You will not juggle me, okay? It's just that simple. I'm not, all these mixed messages, these lies, these alibis, you know, uh, this wishy washiness, you know, excuse after excuse, all these justifications. Somebody is like, I'm not with this, okay? You got me messed up, is what somebody's saying. Somebody's saying, you need to six, your sword, six of swords your ass right on back over there to that other person who you was going to and you give that energy to them because I'm not with this, okay? That's what they're saying. Somebody didn't already got their heart broke. With this here three of swords, okay? And yes, yeah, somebody is worried like hell. Somebody is anxiety and fear. They can't sleep at night. All kind of thoughts is plaguing them. 
Somebody was in this energy when they got heartbroken, okay? But somebody is now in this energy for breaking somebody's heart. Somebody is now in this energy of being worried and stressed out and not knowing what to do because somebody is not, you know, giving them what they want. They're throwing up walls. This is boundaries that somebody has placed up, okay? This is an ending that somebody wants to mend. This person got a history. Somebody got a history here. Um, give me a sword, please. They want reconciliation, y'all. It really just is that simple because they love you, okay? That's why. They love you, all right? They stepped wrong. They made a mistake. They left you. They went and dealt with somebody else. Person who they dealt with could have been married or you could have been married to them. They thought the grass was greener on the other side. You know, they've been a snake, but they're saying, I want to invest in you, okay? I'm sorry, and that's what it is, all right? You need to listen. That's what they're saying because they're getting very, very obstinate in this energy here, okay? Um, give me strength, please, because somebody says you're a snake, okay? And I don't do snakes, okay? So, listen, somebody was having an emotional funeral, okay? Because somebody like, look, I don't, I don't fuck with snakes, okay? And that's what you've revealed yourself to be to me, so I'm not messing with you, okay? Puzzle pieces, y'all, okay? And uh, somebody is now having an emotional funeral. They're, they're, they're concentrating on the loss. That's their problem, though. They're the one that did this shit, okay? I mean, it really just is. Yeah, because of their flirtatious ways. Because they like to charm people, okay? That's why. Because they like to go out and, you know, do them with other people. And lie and carry it on and be tricky and, and, you know, all that. That's why, okay? And this is the reason why they're coming up as a damn snake. Give me the world. Right, sitting up here jumping on out there. That's okay. Somebody's going to be jumping out here. Somebody's about to start a new beginning. Somebody's showing up single, but this person right here wants to give you. Listen, somebody's showing up single. This person is about to be jumping out here, okay? They're about to be using blind face with very spontaneous energy, jumping out here to try to give to somebody here because they don't want to see somebody single here. Right. They don't want to see somebody single. They're scared to death that this three of swords situation has pushed somebody all the way over the edge, it has fucked up this four of wands. Somebody with somebody's dreams coming true. All these illusions and delusions and carrying on. Committing to other people and all this extra sex that they've been having. Somebody's like, I'm not with this shit. Okay. It really just is that simple. But yeah, if somebody wants somebody. They know they messed up a ten of pentacles, y'all. I'm just saying, how you mess the ten of pentacles up? Mm -hmm. That's somebody who either really feel like they got you wrapped around their finger. Or a real crash dummy one. I don't know. Or somebody who just don't like stability. I mean, you do got some people out there in the world that don't like stability. You know what I'm saying? They don't like a, a full refrigerator and, you know, being able to be comf have the comforts of home. And, you know, it'd be warm and shit, you know, with nice furniture. And, you know, they, you know, they don't, you know. Some people, they don't, you know. I like going into the, you know, closet and it'd be extra toilet paper and, you know, extra soap and toothpaste and, you know, that type of stuff. They don't. You know, they don't really care about that type of stuff. You know, you do got some individuals out there that's like that. So, I don't know, you know. Maybe that's how they fuck up a Ten of Pentacles. I don't know. But I know one damn thing. is most people that that's what they strive for. But, you know, you can lead a horse to water, but you cannot make them drink. And you damn sure can see more in somebody than they see in themselves. That's, that is too true, too. Yeah, I'm going to just drop your card. Go ahead and get you guys. You guys know how this go. For my verified subscribers, you guys, if this resonates, go ahead and put your situation down there and I will pull some cards for you randomly. Um, trying to go members, this is automatic, okay? Um, trying to go, if this re if this video resonates with you and you have questions or if there's something that, you know, you want me to pull on this energy um, and you don't want to put it in the comment section below, go ahead and text me. You guys, join Train to Go. Um, that is the easiest way to access me. They got the direct line, my direct tarot line. A lot of my VIPs, my VIPs, a lot of people that I read for you. I've read for you guys. You guys got my line, my number too. So, I mean, but uh, let me go ahead and. Let me get one more. One fell on the floor. I don't know what that was. Yeah, baby, can you? Two fell on the floor. Wait. Okay. 
He about to give me the other card, y'all. Let's get another bag. All right. All right. And you guys remember for every 100 new subscribers, thank you, baby. For every 100 new subscribers, somebody will get a free read, okay? Um, you do have to be a verified subscriber. I would love to have you. Um, so I have the month of February, the month of January, the month of May, April, and September. That may resonate with you guys. A day, The day before a birthday, Thanksgiving and Mother's Day may resonate with you guys, okay? February, January, May, April, okay? That could be this year coming up or February now, or January last month, or it could be last year, okay? Um, and September, okay? The day before a birthday, Thanksgiving, and Mother's Day. The letters that I have is two Qs. I got R, I got G, I got O, I got C, I got T, and I got P. So I got P, T, C, O, G, R, and two Qs. Okay. So let me tell y'all who's on the board. We got Gemini. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Heavy Sagittarius. Heavy Gemini. Yep, somebody wounded, set back, guarded. Somebody losing sleep. Somebody might got a court case. Heavy Sagittarius, heavy Libra, heavy Capricorn. Heavy Cancer, uh, um, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, and also Aquarius, okay? Heavy Leo. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Heavy Taurus. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. All right, so let's see here. Libra, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Gemini, Leo, okay? So this is what I got for you guys. Hopefully, I was able to put one piece together for you. If I was, that means I definitely done my job. I'd appreciate it if you like, share, and subscribe. Virgo, you guys know I love you guys dearly. I'll see you guys soon.